Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Cookie Week continues. This is cooking very, very simple, easy chocolate chip cookies. You're gonna use a box of yellow cake mix, one stick of butter, one teaspoon of vanilla. Then you're gonna also add your one egg and then your cup of chocolate chips. Mom uses milk. Um, she prefers milk chocolate chips in her chocolate chip cookies. So this is mom's recipe. Um, well, it's not mom's recipe, she didn't create it, but this is the recipe mom likes to use. Um, if you're interested, I am helping her out this year, uh, and last year I helped her out too because as she's getting older, it's a little tougher for her to do the um, all day, what do we make, 20 batches of cookies probably. She sends them out to all of her friends and family for gifts. Um, she's become the cookie lady. So it's just become more difficult over the years for her to do it all by herself, so I help her out wherever I can. So I thought I would just share all the recipes with you, especially this one, it's super simple. So whether you have a beater or a stand mixer, you wanna go ahead and cream your butter, add your vanilla and your egg, and then the cake mix. And that's really all you're gonna do at first. And then you're gonna beat that until it's incorporated, okay? Now, whether you know whether you're using a stand mixer or a hand mixer, you wanna make sure that you either stop mixing or you put it on really slow speed while you add your dry ingredients so they don't go poof everywhere. Um, this cake mix uh, is from Aldi, but you could use any yellow cake mix, she said. Okay. Now this is a, um, like I said, a super simple uh, recipe that she really does enjoy making for her friends and family. Um, and they really enjoy eating them as well. <clears throat> So just start it off on slow, get it all incorporated, and then I add the egg per her instructions. <laughs> and you're just gonna beat till combined, till they come together to form a dough. Then you're gonna add your one cup of chocolate chips, um, chocolate chippers. And mom likes to use a wet measuring cup to measure out her chocolate chips because if they go over, they won't go over the table, she said. So I'm going to do what she asked me to. <laughs> but it doesn't make a difference if you want to use a dry measure uh, or liquid measure. That's not, that's just her preference, okay? And then slowly stir them in. I have a stir setting on my mixer, um, which won't break up the chocolate chips. If you're using your beater, just leave it on the slowest speed while you mix them together to incorporate those chips, all right? And then, like always, when you watch a cooking show with Jerry Ann Henson, you gotta clean that beater. <laughs> no man left behind, right? If you're new to my channel, I tell everybody, uh, this isn't a Food Network show. I don't have a production assistant who's gonna do my dishes, plus I don't wanna waste all the food that they wash down the sink. When you watch TV, uh, cooking shows on TV, they they just barely scrape bowls and barely get all the ingredients in there. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> so that's not the case here. We're going to clean this beater good. Okay. And then I'm going to use my rubber spoon just to bring it all together. Uh, sometimes with the stand mixer, they could be dry spots. Uh, this one with the paddle attachment doesn't really have uh, too many problems like that because this paddle attachment has the scraper attachment on it. So um, that usually works out pretty good for us. And now I'm going to use my cookie scoop. The instructions are for one inch round bowls. Specifically, it says by rounded teaspoon dropped onto sheet. So um, you basically take a rounded teaspoon is what she says. Okay. And I get about 13 to a tray. You want them to be two inches apart. And then the last thing that um, she wanted me to do was to uh, flatten them down. When she drops them by her teaspoon instead of using the cookie scoop, they end up being more uh, flatter. So she wanted me to go ahead and flatten them down. And you could use your clean fingers or what I think I'm using, gonna use here is the back of the rubber spoonula. Um, but you could use your two fingers if you want. Um, it actually worked out easier with my fingers because the spoonula kept getting sucky. <laughs> but just to help them spread more evenly, all right? And then into a preheated 325 degree oven for 10 to 13 minutes, but 
We're going to set the timer for five minutes and we'll turn the, each tray 180 degrees and then flip it from top to bottom so that they get even cooking. Okay. I think you guys have seen that before. Uh, when we make the monster cookies, we only make one batch at a time and we have to keep them in the center of the oven. But for a regular cookie batches, we kind of put two trays close to the center of the oven and then we switch top to bottom back and front like that. And then you want to check them um, at the 10 minute mark. You, know you want to bake them till the edges are set, it, so but the cookies will still be second. soft. All right, go ahead. Okay. No. Um, yeah, it just says till the edges are set. So there we go. All right, well, go ahead. So now you have to let them cool one minute on the rack on the pan before you take them off and put them on a cooling rack. All right. So I hope you really enjoyed this super simple chocolate chip cookie recipe. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up for mom and Jim. Aren't they great workers? And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.